great, Mr. Melton. It isn't perfect yet, but it will be soon. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Blake? Hello, Mrs. Howard. Mr. Melton asked me to drop by for cocktails. Oh, yes, of course. Mr. Melton is still upstairs in his laboratory, but should be down soon. Uh, won't you join the other guests in the den? Thank you. Are any of those things dangerous, Mr. Melton? Those are all bomb models, except one. That one's loaded. It's more destructive than a blockbuster. If that were to drop, everything within a radius of 200 yards would be destroyed, blown to bits. That's better. See you later, boys. <laughs> now, wait. You fellows have followed me for two weeks. Won't you please take a rest? We're following that, sir, not you. Yes, I know, I know. But it's been safe here for two months. It'll be safe a few days more. We're here to watch this. This is Washington, D.C., not enemy territory, and I'm in my own home. I'm having guests for cocktails, and I'm not going to appear before them trailed by two Secret Service bodyguards. But, sir, we're all... No! There. It's an insult to my friends for a host to appear with bodyguards, and I won't have it. You think I invite my country's enemies to cocktails? No, sir, but don't then you Then do your guarding from this room or from the street outside. Which one of those did he say was dangerous? Uh, that one right there, the one with the black cross painted on. Maybe we had better guard Mr. Melton from the outside. <laughs> This playing bodyguard to Melton sure bored me. Can't he get bored to get bored? Melton's an important man. That's why the president put us on this job. Yeah, I know that, but you'll have to admit it's a phony detail. Nothing ever happens. Hey, you, where are you going? Anywhere, mister, anywhere. I got an important date. I'll say you have right here. I don't belong here, mister. I'm just on the errand for Miss Winters. Ask her, she'll tell you. You stay here. He's dead and the plans are missing. Uh-oh. Did you say Mr. Melton was dead? Dead? This is hard. Anyone upstairs? No one. Everybody in the house is here. Take a look around. Everybody go in the living room, please. I said everybody, please. See here, by what authority do you come barging in here and... Plenty of authority. I carry a presidential warrant. Oh. Right away. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chan speaking. I'm expecting son and daughter. When they arrive, please stand to office. Thank you. Yes? Mr. Chan, come to my office immediately. At once. Okay, Chief. Sit down, Charlie. George Melton, the man we've been guarding, is dead. Melton, inventor? Yes. His newest invention, which the Navy believes would utterly destroy the U-boat menace,
Guard detail on duty, sir. House surrounded. No one let out except with proper credentials. Is that right? Exactly. Milton had the only copy of his torpedo plan on him just before he was found dead. Now it's missing. Very convenient that man should die merely to allow a plan to be missing. Almost too convenient. Suspect skillful hand of master spy Manlick, perhaps. Now it's up to you, Charlie, to find that plan immediately. You're in charge of the case. We'll do humble best. Secret service, huh? That pop needs my help if he wants to keep this job. Hello. Hi, Pop. Hello. Uh, please have cab waiting for Mr. Chan uh, immediately. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, Pop. Pop, what about our sightseeing trip? Must be postponed for important business. Return to hotel. We'll see you soon. Maybe. I don't get it. Something's cooking. Pop's on a big case. We ought to be with him. Sure, but where did he go? You mean you don't know where Pop's gone? What a detective. Well, after all, he... I can find him. It's simple deduction. Okay, deduct and let's go. Sergeant Billings, old friend from Hawaii and United States Marines. Nice to see you here, Sergeant. Not so nice. All my old buddies in action everywhere, and I'm guarding dead men. May learn something of Germans and Japanese here. And all I want to know about them is what I can get looking over a rifle sight. Most excellent viewpoint. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chan. Good evening, Doctor. superficial examination reveals no cause, except perhaps a natural one. Please perform autopsy as soon as possible and send me report. Yes, sir. I'll have the boys remove the body right away. Thank you. Glad to see you again, Jonesy. All right, Charlie. Everybody in house been searched? Yes, but we didn't find anything. I questioned them all. Here are their statements. Please, do not go upstairs. Very well. Who is she? The Duchess? Mrs. Hogg, the housekeeper. All the suspects are on this floor. Lewis and I have been searching down here for Melton's plan. He had it on him when he came downstairs and died. Have Lewis continue search. 
Am I glad you're on this case, Charlie. You know, we haven't worked together for ten years. By the way, how's the wife and seven children? Very fine. Only now have seven more. Seven more. You mean fourteen? Yeah. Everything grow rapidly in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> These two? Yes, Paul Arato and his sister. They're planning to leave for California tomorrow. No one leaves until case ended satisfactorily. It appears Mr. Malcolm came here to this spot, then died. Huh? We searched the closet, but found nothing. <laughs> the nervous nightmare is Mrs. Winters. She came for cocktails and got hysterics. Excuse me. That's Louis Vega, war refugee. Now traveling salesman for Herrick Brothers, exporters of Smyrna. Young lady is Miss Aranto? Yes. Oh, it's Mr. Melton's baseball team. That's him right there. There he is when he was with the college glee club. All this and an inventor, too. <laughs> Well, Mr. Chan, I found it. The plan? Melton's torpedo plan? Yes, sir. Where you find this? In the living room. Please show me exactly where you find this. Uh, right in here, Mr. Chan. Right over here, sir. I found it in this book. Well, I guess I'd better apologize to our suspects and let them go. No. Suspects are still suspects. Still deserve questions. No apologies. Why? Dead man's actions calling urgently for explanation. Dead man's actions? How can man walk around after he is dead? Hello. Hello. Say, aren't you Iris Chen, Charlie's number two daughter? Uh-huh. And you're Sergeant Billy. <laughs> That's right. Hey, last time I saw you, you were no bigger than that. Now, how do you remember me? A woman never forgets a good-looking man. <laughs> Who's your boyfriend? He's no friend. He's my brother Tommy. No. Oh, looking for your father? He's inside. See, just plain deduction. Deductions? Are you kids working with Charlie like Jimmy used to? Well, Pop has to have us along to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> well, Charlie didn't see anything about letting you in. But couldn't we just look over the situation? Sure, sure. I'll pass the word around. You're okay. Yeah. On the outside. Thank you. You don't understand. It's not for myself. I don't have to go. It's my dog. My Pekingese. He has to be fed. But well, I'll attend to the dog, ma'am. Oh, do, and hurry, Birmingham. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh, ain't that something they even got a walking ration around here? One moment, please. You are a chauffeur for Mrs. Winters? Yes, sir. What you do here? Well, I come to bring something, and I got stuck. I mean, I got detained. What you bring? A uh, statue of uh, a uh, Wait, I'll get it for you, sir. This is it, sir. Miss Liberty, very lovely lady. I think so. I made it myself as a present for Inez. For Miss Aranto? Oh, yes. Mm. It's a going away gift. I think it's beautiful. What it stands for is very beautiful also. And you are Brother Paul Aranto? Brother, father, mother, guardian for many years. And you are Peter Laska? Uh, yes. He has been with me for four years. Oh, thank you. And, uh, you, uh, Miss uh, Aranto. I will speak for Miss Aranto, Peter, and myself. Excuse, please. Would much prefer that all present speak for themselves. 
You are David Blake, DPE. What does that stand for, please? Department of Political Economy. If you read your newspapers, you know more about me. I uh, know what uh, columnists say about you in morning paper, quote, what David Blake does not know about political economy would fill many books, unquote. Now, see here, I don't have to say... Excuse, please. Mrs. Hard, you were in pantry when body of Mr. Malcolm was found? Yes, sir. When I heard the scream, I ran into the hall and saw Miss Aranto kneeling beside Mr. Milton's body. She seemed to be searching his pocket. You saw no such thing. It's a lie. Don't you dare. Make her stop talking. Uh, you seem to have strange desire to silent tongues of all present. Uh, which one of you first discovered body? I did. No, I was the first. Actually, I discovered the body. Anyone else wish to nominate self as discoverer of body? Hmm. I better put this away before it hurts somebody else. Excuse me. I better scram out of here before I scram out of my skin. Your full name is, uh, Louis Philippe Vega, and I'm not interested in yours. Oh, you might be interested. This gentleman is Mr. Charlie Chan. You were where when Mr. Malcolm come downstairs? In the den. Nice alibi, huh? When alibi pushed at me, always suspect motive in woodpile. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Winters, when Miss Aranto screamed, you ran out into the hall? Oh, not at first. I couldn't move. I was simply putrefied. Excuse, please. I do not believe you mean putrefied. My dear man, I know what I mean. Well, I'll be a Popeye pollywog. So will I. Oh, my goodness, I'll be no such thing. Charlie, the picture in the hall. Um, curiosity now so small have but very few questions more to ask. Why ask any questions at all, then? Mr. Melton died a natural death. I heard one of your men say that whatever was missing from his pockets had been found. And you frightened my sister for nothing. Well, I'm not staying around just to satisfy your curiosity. Excuse. Detective without curiosity is like glass eye at keyhole. No good. We'll now show you where valuable missing document strangely reappear. Experiment will prove much. Mr. Lewis, please. Will you take book from bookcase? Thank you. You may return same. Mr. Vega, you will assist the experiment? No. Uh, Mr. Aranto? What do you wish me to do? Merely take book from bookcase. Thank you. Mrs. Winters. I really don't see any sense at this game. Not when my Pekingese is... Merely, please, take book from bookcase. Oh, very well. Oh, life among the Ubangis. Are you interested in that type of woman, Mr. Chan? Not at all. Valuable document placed in right side of bookcase. Mr. Lewis choose book from right side of bookcase. You also choose book from right side. But Mrs. Winters... Oh, well, but after all, I am left-handed. Exactly. So you choose book from left side of bookcase. What of it? Ninety-nine times out of hundred, right or left-handed person turned instinctively toward controlling side. George Melton was left-handed. Mr. Melton was left-handed, but how do you know? Same way Mr. Jones find out. There's a picture of a Yale baseball team in the hall. Mr. Melton's in it. The picture's inscribed with Mr. Melton's nickname, Portside. Even Chinese detectives know Portside ball player is left-handed. But what has this to do with the paper found in the book? Very strange. Mr. Melton placed valuable document in bookcase. Stranger still, 
left-handed George Milton placed document in right side of bookcase. And even stranger yet, that dead man lying in hall able to reach bookcase at all. Never knew dead man to carry things so far. Plan a very dangerous weapon. Follow directions here and dangerous weapon about as dangerous as unloaded toy pistol. Document is very poor forgery. Go on. What are you waiting for? But we're not supposed to. Pop's in there on a case. Are you a detective or a dud? Shh. Someone's in here. We better stay out. Yeah. Iris, what you push me for? I'm surrounded. I got someone wearing a mask. Come on, give me a hand, Iris. Seems as though Chan family about to have second reunion. Turn me a move! You, you can't get away now. Turn me a move! Ah! Good boy! Ah! So what's happening? What happened? I see double, perhaps. If that's me, I don't look so good. <laughs> I want you should remain upstairs. Yes, sir. That is order. Yes, sir. You can explain presence here. What's that? Look, you are my loving toy. I'm going to die. 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 Excuse, please, but sputtering firecracker and black sheep are noisiest members of Chang family. Excuse. Uh, you will go to hotel, please, and remain there. Just a minute, Mr. Chan. They could carry off this so-called important document, couldn't they? I don't get it. He's trying to pin something on us. And it's no bouquet. Excuse, please. Uh, Mr. Vega is quite right. You will go to pantry and remain there till called. And wash face. Children go through life with same tact as tornado. We can leave when you find whatever is missing? Just as soon as genuine Melton document is found. And his murderer. Murderer? People in Washington don't go about murdering. Uh, evidently, few present who have forgotten rules. But surely you don't think any of us here are guilty. Difficulty now would be to find someone present who could not be guilty. Uh, Mr. Lewis, please. Have coroner send by special messenger. Yes, sir, as soon as possible. You return to headquarters. Give Mr. Slade full report of case up to now. Okay, Mr. Chen. Always someone about to stick fly in ointment. This time I am an unlucky man with three flies. Give your stuff, I'll help you out. You are like business end of water spout, always running off at mouth. 
Mm-hmm. Every time he looks at me, he makes me feel as futile as a traveling salesman with nothing but a car. But he's awful handy when there's a murder on the loose. M -m -m murder on the, the, the loose? Right in this very house. So let's investigate my pops upstairs. She's cool. Blended instrument for plain and fancy cutting up? That's what I thought, so I took it when he wasn't looking. He? Peter. I don't trust anyone with a thing like that. And I don't trust the people he works for, either. You do not trust the Rantos? I won't say anything more. My gosh, Pop, detectives don't read while people sneak up behind him with a knife. In mirror, I see everything goes on behind back. You are a very smart boy. Trouble with modern children, they do not smart in right place. Did Confucius say that, Pop? No, I say that. Very strange woman, Mrs. Hogg. Yeah, Pop. She's strictly icky. Right off the cuff and way off the beam. Could possibly speak English? He means she's a slick chick gone to see, Pop. She got bats in her head and bees in her bustle. Language sound very strange to elderly ears. Sure, Pop, but we're hip cats of the younger generation. You're Confucius, and I'm Confucius Jr. Confucius Jr. Please, go. somewhere, Pop? Just out for some fresh air. Try to get out of here and you're going to get some fresh air right through your stomach. No, thanks. I don't care for that sort of air conditioning. Inside. You are not supposed to touch picture. We never touch it, Pop. Heck no. No, sir. When you search, Melton, you find any keys? No. Put picture back. I don't get it. Neither do I. I'm confused, too. Oh, Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan.
fellow tried to slip out of here a few minutes ago. Tall man or short man? He's good size. It wasn't Peter or Blake. And a ratter can't walk. It must have been Vega. insist on murder, so I think I'll mix me up a little sudden death. Mm, some of this. <laughs> some of this. And some of this. I hope I don't see things after I get through drinking this concoction. Miss Jane, I, I just saw him a murderer. Where? Right in there, right under my nose. I saw him when he poked his gun out through that curtain. No one there. Check the living room. You're told to remain in hall. We were upstairs looking for clues, Paul. Looking for clues upstairs while murderer downstairs shooting at honorable parent. Gosh, did they kill you, Pop? No, I mean, did they hurt you, Pop? You stay here, you might have seen murderer. But you also might get shot. Oh. Very glad you disobey orders and go upstairs. <laughs> yes. You're not scared, are you? Oh, good gracious. No. There's nothing to be afraid of. Of course not. I'm scared stiff. Same here. Come on. Well, what now? Can we hang around here a while, Pop? Yeah. Be very quiet, very quiet. They're all in there. No one saw anyone leave the living room. They don't know anything. Didn't even hear a shot. Never mind. Have problem now of ladies' linen. Oh, that's a real clue. You want me to get the women in so you can find out who owns it? Already know. Miss Aranto? Yeah. I'll get it. No, no. Miss Aranto does not smoke. Uh, does Mrs. Hogg or Mrs. Winters smoke? No, neither one of them can stand the smell of tobacco. Mm. Person who leave linen behind drape very heavy smoker. Well, there's Vega, Peter, Blake, several heavy smokers. Uh. You think if I'd ask your father to let me go home, he'd let me? What you want to go home for? I forgot something. What you forget? I forgot to stay there. Well, it was a good idea, huh? Good. Mr. Chan, uh, oh, Mr. Chan, if I have to stay here all night with all those men, I really should have a nightgown. Good gracious, did I say that? I'm afraid so. <laughs> the things I do say. You will excuse, please. I'm very busy. Have murderer to catch. Mur oh, of course. You're a detective. <laughs> uh, hope so, yes. <laughs> like talk to Typhoon. You remain here. Keep sharp eye on Paul Aranto. Come. Mrs. Hogg. Well? Household keys, please. Key here for everything? For every lock in the house. Thank you.
Key turned in lock, but nothing happened. Put picture back. Time for a messenger from coroner to arrive. I'll check on that. You know, Mr. G, I No, no. You stay here. Oh, Pop, let him come. This joint is lonesome. Joint. Confucius Jr. Coming out? Why? Why, no. Hey, Pop, that Norton fellow sure knew his stuff, Pop. This is what made the Jap fleet not so fleet. I'm searching for evidence, not amusement. Okay, Pop. Make you unable to talk? Talk? Mr. Chain, I'm so scared I can hardly go. Perhaps you should try same on Mrs. Winters. <sighs> Move now. Uh oh, it's got me again. Electric cell behind eyes of head. When someone pass in front, make contact. Therefore, head moves. See? Uh, fox hole. That's just what I need. Did not expect visitor to trap in here. Seems about time to drop conversation. Came down in one step. Come, come, come. Are you all right? I don't know. I thought 
thought I heard some shooting going on in here. Come, come. Any explained presence here? No gun on him, Pop. But where's the hat and coat? Someone tried to eliminate me in workshop, was you? Me? I heard shots and was headed this way when someone hit me. Mm. Explanation too perfect to be true. Downstairs, please. David, what happened? We heard shots. Please, no talk now. Everyone in living room. Well, what is it? Really wish to assure myself you are among those present. All seem to be present except Mr. Aranto. Here I am, Mr. Chan. I was hungry and uh, left for a sandwich. When you go? Just now. Excuse, please. You carry a gun? I don't need one. If I don't like someone, I run over them. <laughs> Men who never leave wheelchair should never wear out shoe leather. Oh. I told you to watch Mr. Aranto. I thought I had him anchored to this. Some detective. Quiet, quiet. Coroner's office. I think this is what you wanted. You miss all excitement. For a second time, I am target for tonight. Someone else took a shot at you? Do not like so much personal attention. Someone leave this room tonight to try to kill me and number three son. I'm guilty of a crime because I get a sandwich? If man places himself in way of finger of suspicion, must not be surprised if he receive poke in the eye. You suspect me? Suspicion like rain fall upon just and unjust. You protect yourself with umbrella of innocence. But at moment, I'm afraid your umbrella have big leak. Remain here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chain, I'm sure is woozy. We'll require your assistance. Gladly, sir, if I can stay awake. You will wake up, perhaps quite suddenly. Here. Stand by closet door. You two remain by stairs, quickly. Everyone step into a hallway, please. Intend to show you how Mr. Melton was killed. This is murder trap. The closet and murder trap? Why, I've been cleaning that closet for years. If you're saying that I... One moment, please. Mr. Melton descend stairs this afternoon. He come to closet and open door. He stand with feet upon metal threshold and reach hand for electric chain. He pull same. And he is dead. Murdered. Murdered? But how? Electrocution. Oh, how shocking. Murderer aware many people who die by electricity leave no marks upon body to indicate cause of death. But if the coroner couldn't diagnose electrocution, how could you? Tax in heel of shoe conduct electricity. 
photographs show tiny burns upon feet of murdered men. But you turned on the light. Nothing happened to you. One moment, please. Birmingham, will you please turn light off in closet? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, Mr. Vega, will you kindly turn light on in closet? Please turn on light, Mr. Vega. But, uh, I... Conduct your own experiments. Remember, murderer wished to kill only one man, Mr. Melton. Excuse me. Now, Birmingham, you take Rod. When I tell you to pull, pull. Yes. So murderer controlled deadly electricity from this switch in living room. Switch itself harmless. But panel of switch strangely loose at top. Through crack in living room door, murderer watched Mr. Melton descend stairs and open closet door. He then press loose panel. Pull. <laughs> You are in need of refreshment, Mr. Aranto? Why, why, yes, I, I could use a drink. This way, ladies and gentlemen. One moment, Mr. Vega, please. You are expecting to leave for California tomorrow with the Arantos? Why, I, uh, yes. So sorry. Must detain you. Birmingham, let go! Stop! You're all right. Am I? I thought that electricity done blow out all of my fuse. You carry a gun, Mr. Vega? No, of course not. Being a refugee from Europe, you know many people in Germany? No. You do not know someone named Manlich? Maybe your name's Manlich. I... I never heard the name before. Your last name is, uh, really Vega? Yes. Could not possibly be Von Wegen? No. Scientific who's who show your picture with name Philippe Von Wegen. You're no salesman. You are a celebrated author and electrical engineer. Hunt for murderer nearly ended. Uh, for goodness sakes, who is it? Murderer now seated on divan. That's a lie! Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant me. Accusing me of murder? You are an electrical engineer. Well, what about it? Murderer always choose weapon he know best. Pop, this guy's dead. But where's the gun? Gun? Yeah, you have to have a gun to make a hole like that. That's the second man who's been murdered. Mm -hmm. It just ain't no future for a man in this house. I've discovered killer of George Melton. Now, question is, which one of you murder Louis Vega? I tell you, I don't know. I don't know any more about it than, than these people here. Strange facts of case. Most all concerned have been at one time in Smyrna. Mr. Aranto? 
You knew Louis Vega or Von Wegen in Smyrna? Yes. I've known him as Luis Vega for nearly a year. Miss Aranto? But I only knew him socially. I didn't know he was... You know him, Peter? Vega? He... No, uh, I have nothing to do with him. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mrs. Winters, you have been to Smyrna? Good heavens, no. But I've heard of the place. That's where all the figs come from. Mr. Blake, you knew Louis Vega in Smyrna. No. That is, well, yes. Yes, I, I, I knew him. I mean, whenever I'd call on Mr. Ranto, Vega was always around. And well, what I mean is, I didn't want to know him. Mrs. Hart, maybe you've been in Smyrna, too. Spent two months there once. A very dull place where nothing ever happens except when it rains. And then what happened? It rains. Mr. Ranto, will you come here, please? Time now to stop lying. What do you mean by that insult? You nearly rise from chair just then. I haven't walked in years. Well, you can tell the truth. No. Come on, speak up. Come on, speak up. Let her go. Oh, so you can walk. I must apologize for what I did. I must apologize also. It was my idea to prove you could walk. My masquerade as an invalid had nothing to do with any crime. I was in an accident some months ago. I recovered but kept in my wheelchair to find out what certain political enemies of mine would do if they believed I would not enter politics again. That is the truth, Mr. Chan. My correspondence will prove what I have said. If you believed I killed Vega, Mr. Chan, I present you with my wheelchair. You will need it before you find me guilty. We shall see. Draw a curtain. I don't see how any of them killed Vega. None of them had a gun. They were all standing in front of him, and Vega was shot in the bag. Already know where a gun is. You do? Know who did it? Have strong suspicion. But until can prove how gun fired without hand to pull trigger, can accuse no one. What you want? Another key? Uh, one of yours? No. I found it on the piano. Know what lock this key fit? No. You're too far ahead of me, Charlie. What do we do next? Torpedo plan still missing. Have one more place to look. If plan not there, we'll expose murderer of Vega and have guilty person lead me directly to missing document. Gee, I'm sleepy. Me too. Then lie down somewhere. I'll wake you when the next cop shows up. Next cop? But there's been two murders already. And they always happen in threes. <laughs> they sure do scare easy. Three? Wow! Hey, Pop. Quiet. Detective at work. But, Pop, Pop, I... Uh... Pop, Pop. You sound like outboard motor. <laughs> what happened? Third and final attempt upon life of humble self. Wall safe, also a murder trap. In ten minutes, we'll arrest murderer of Louis Vega. Pop, nobody standing in front of Van Vegan could shoot him in the back. Sit down, please. Murder gun standing at us 
like clock trying to hide face behind hands. Spring gun. Noiseless. In Alaska. Yes. Where were you when Melton come downstairs? Uh, I, well, right over there, next to the bar. From there, you have excellent view of entire room. Louis Vega killed Mr. Melton, then come down hall and into that door. Strange, you do not see him. Oh, Mr. Vega, he. Uh, I did not notice. I, I don't spy on people. Where is your gun? I... You have license to carry gun in your room. Where is gun now? It's upstairs in, in my room. You did not leave same in pantry after it used on me in workshop? No, 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 Mr. Chen. I never use it. And it is not in pantry. Four bullets fired from it quite recently. Where you find same? In pantry. Is same gun used on me in workshop? No, no, Mr. Chen, I never shot anyone. Mr. Van Wagen do shooting, but you leave it in pantry for him to use. No, Mr. Chen, I never... I... Always you are present when Van Wagen disappears. Always you are conveniently blind and do not see him go. That is not true. I know and nothing when about... when Van Wagen is ready to confess, you kill him. I never killed anyone. You are wrong, Mr. Chen. Lead Alaska. I arrest you for the murder of Louis Vega. No, no, you cannot arrest me when I do nothing. Mr. Aram, to protect me, these men are wrong. I, I'm innocent. I, I did nothing to anyone. I, I'm innocent. I, I hurt no one. I, I did not. I can't believe it. Peter, a murderer? It's so hard to keep servants these days. Great heavens. For two weeks, I've tried to bribe Peter to come to work for me. Well, Mr. Chan, but we were all right here in this room. I don't see how Peter could have killed Vega. I don't get it either. We'll show you. Gun used to kill Von Wagen hanging on fireplace wall. Spring gun. Noiseless. Hanging on top. My gun now in its place. You mean it hung on the wall even when it killed Vega? Yeah. But how could Peter have fired it? All night long, wrestled with titles of Von Wagen's books. Finally, I find one I seek. Magnetic properties of electricity. You mean a magnet fired that gun? Exactly. When magnet turned on, gun pull against trigger and fire itself. I don't get it. But, Pop, where is the magnet? Directly in line with murder weapon. Come, I show you. This is electromagnet and murder weapon. Observe. But Peter wasn't near that table when Vega was killed. No one was near it. I don't see how Peter could possibly have done it. He stood right beside me at the piano. Exactly. All of you were near piano when Vega was killed. Therefore, piano is instrument which operates magnet. Everyone watching Von Wagen saw Peter Laska have plenty of opportunity to work mechanism. Switch which operates magnet is beneath here. Now, my gun is hanging on hook uh, in the same place where murder gun hung. We'll try experiment. Please, all watch. <laughs> Who got it that time? Uh, 
That's an experiment. When did he get in here? When Dr. Schauer von Wegen was killed. Oh, good gracious. After tonight, all the excitement I want is trying to get into a new girdle, if I can get one. Oh, my pick and ease. Maybe go now, please, Mr. Chan. Everyone may go now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's the meaning of this? Meaning we have finally caught real murderer of Von Wegen. You're insane. Permit me to prove my sanity. Only person seated at piano could have reached mechanism which operates murder gun. Peter Laska was standing. You were only one seated at piano. You were working with Von Wegen. Fearing he might confess, you killed him. Ridiculous. Excuse, please. You see? Oh, oh. Missing torpedo plan. Final proof of guilt. You are under arrest, Fraulein Manlich. Uh, I trust you will accept my humble apologies. I'm so very sorry. Had to pick on you in order to catch real criminal. That is perfectly all right. Mr. Jones told me about it. I was very much scared at first, but most happy to help you, Mr. Chen. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Also very grateful to everyone for their kind cooperation. <laughs> well, Mr. Chen, that Miss Winters, was she doing all the murders? Mm. Uh oh. You know, Pop, that Mrs. Winters wasn't so dumb at all. She was only putting on an act. I don't get it. Pop didn't get it. Didn't get it? Mrs. Winters didn't get it either. <laughs> Hello. Is this the manpower commissioner? Well, this is Birmingham Brown. And I'm wide open for a defense job. Because I got a what? Availability ticket. Where do I get that from? From my last employer. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs>